One of the most important components of our passenger speaker rocket are its parachutes. Everything that goes up has to come down safely, especially if we want to reuse our boosters and have a person flying on board our space capsule. That's where these parachute systems come in, and today we'll talk about their most recent tests we performed a few months ago. Hello rocket fans, just a small update on the parachute test we did a while back. In the recent test we uh, tested two parachutes, both as part of the speaker booster parachute system. The first test was a uh, test of one of the contestants to become the drogue parachute to stabilize the booster and take the top of the speed. The other one was one of the three main parachutes that was intended to uh, be used for the speaker one flight. Unfortunately, neither of the tests went as we had hoped for, but for different reasons. With the, uh, with the Drogue, we tested the ribbon hemisphere design, or as we like to call it, the Flying Spaghetti Monster. This was the uh, third design iteration, and what is as close as we can get to the textbook construction of this design. As you may remember, the first version we tested never fully inflated during descent. The second design included changes where we added vertical ribbons and closed the apex end, which is not what you want in the final version, but I wanted to see if I could get uh, such a version to fly properly, because if we couldn't, then I wouldn't even bother trying to find the optimum design. This second design worked under our testing conditions and we saw a beautiful inflation and basically perfect descent. That made me believe that we could find a design. Um, now with the vent reopened and everything else unchanged, I had hoped to see another perfect inflation. Unfortunately, the uh, spaghetti monster was back and we only saw the top half of the parachute inflate. Um, now it's, it's of course important to mention that this test is far from actual flight conditions, but it makes me uncomfortable that I cannot uh, make a design that inflates properly during the conditions that we test, and I am strongly considering a focus on the Onion or the Supersonic X, which uh, that design is actually called. The problem is that I haven't seen the Supersonic X design in use anywhere in any real life applications. So I am worried that I might go down a path that has been overgrown deliberately by the grown ups. On the other hand, we didn't see many people work with the Balut design when we started with that 10 years ago, so maybe we just need to become front runners again. I don't know. The upside to the Supersonic X design, and the reason I like it so much, is that it is very easy to design and manufacture, and uh, it has behaved almost as predicted at every test. So it will be very easy for me to make a lot of design iterations and tests in a relatively short period of time. So I think if any of you out there has any qualified advice on what to do and which design to trust for implementation, Please let me know. I am really uncertain right now on what to do. Okay, if we look at one of the videos, by the way, from the test, I would also like to point out the skills of the skydivers from Odense Skydiving Center. You see, when leaving the plane, the video guy, Leonard, actually tumbles, but despite that, he is still able to maintain the focus on Martin, and we never get the parachute out of sight, uh, which is truly some amazing skills. So uh, thank you, Leonard, for being so amazing, and thank you all at OSC for being such great people to come back again and again and visit. 
it is truly a pleasure to work with all of you guys. Um, I really mean that. Thank you so much. With the speaker main parachute, uh, we had a different and new issue this time, or old you could say. During the opening, the reefing timer boxes got entangled in the reefing line. Um, with the design modification I made for this main parachute, I was concerned about letting the reefing timer pockets be mounted on the fabric of the main, so instead I had let them hang in pockets below it to basically reduce the risk of tears. This was a mistake. Uh, and honestly, it was a mistake that I made more than seven years ago with a similar result. Um, back then, it was with the Nexu 1 main parachute that uh, showed this same desire to be wound up in itself. So I think now I need uh, to promise myself that this was the last time I try this method. And please also remind me if you see that I come about doing it again sometime in the future. As a result of this error, uh, the parachute didn't inflate fully until the last few seconds of its flight, meaning that it descended a bit faster than expected. This uh, resulted in a landing spot outside of the predicted area. So for the first time in 10 years, and second time in total, we, uh, we had to pull a parachute down from a tree. That's uh, what you get for making a mistake. So, next up for me in the short term with the main parachute is to fix the timer pockets on the parachute <clears throat> and test the next design iteration again. So here comes the tricky part on that one. You see, um, unfortunately, our engine team has their claws on our entire budget at the moment to get some traction under the engine production. And this is fine, of course. But this means that uh, I need to wait for funding so, let me reach out to you um, if you feel that the parachute system should also be funded right now and that I shouldn't rest on my laurels this winter. I need about 3000 kroner or 400 euros to, euros to buy materials and pay for the expenses of the next test. If you want to help fund this, you can send money on mobile pay to 122534. Remember to add a comment that it is for the parachutes. You can also go to our support page and make a one-time donation or you could sign up for a monthly payment if you want to. If you give a donation here and want it to go specifically for the parachutes, make sure to send us a mail letting us know that that is what you want to do. That was all for now. The uh, next update I will give you from the parachute department relates to, uh, to a tensile te strength test that uh, the rocket group there from Delft Technical University has uh, helped us with. Uh, that test gave me some interesting insights into some techniques I used to make the suspension lines for the main parachutes. So I am looking very much forward to sharing that with you as well. So um, blue skies and fall safe.